The name of Mother Teresa brings to one's mind a small thin woman clad in a white sari offering love and compassion to all. A winner of the Nobel Peace Prize, she humbly carried on her selfless work with devotion. She was a part of an organization of nuns known as Missionaries of Charity and it is often heard that she was just a tool in the hands of the Lord. It is his work that she was carrying out. Recently being instated with the honor of sainthood, she is known worldwide for her kindness and generosity. She was born on 26th of August 1910 in Yugoslavia. She was an Albanian Indian Roman Catholic nun who dedicated her life serving the less fortunate. By the age of 12, she was pretty much sure that she wanted to devote her life to serving those with not enough opportunities. Agnes left her home at the age of 18 to join the sisters of Loreto. She arrived in India in the year 1929 and began her work in Darjeeling. She took her first religious vows in 1931 and chose to take on the name Teresa. Once, while she was returning home, her heart was broken after seeing people's sadness in Kolkata slum. That event disturbed her mind a lot. After that, she never looked back and started serving the poor people. Soon, young girls joined her group which was later known as Missionaries of Charity. Their belief was, the more you give away, the more you receive. Mother Teresa, an epitome of humanity, made various trips outside India for humanitarian reasons. At the height of the siege of Beirut, she rescued 37 children. She visited Armenia after the 1988 earthquake ban, also assisted the Hungary in Ethiopia. By 1996, she operated 517 missions in over 100 countries. She won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979 and furthermore won the India's highest civilian award, the Bharat Ratna, in 1980 for her compassionate work. When presented with the award, she politely said, I am not worthy of it. I accept the award in the name of the poor because I believe by giving me the prize, they have recognized the presence of the poor in the world. The honors that have been bestowed on her and all the ones that she deserves for her work are too many to count here. But she is far above these materialistic honors. We can't even come close to actually rewarding her for all that she has done for the world. It was in 1983 that her health started falling and she had her first heart attack in Rome followed by another. In her final days, she resigned as the head of the missionaries of charity and died later that year on 5th of September. She was among those few to have received a state funeral from the Indian government as a token of gratitude. Mother Teresa has been a living blessing. She identified herself completely with the poor people, the sick, the destitute, the diminishing and vulnerable. Her empathy knows no qualification, no limits. She could be named as one of the purest souls to have graced the planet with no other intention than to better the world. This can be understood through her statement, by blood, I am Albanian, by citizenship, I am an Indian, by faith, I am a Catholic nun. As to my calling, I belong to the world. As to my heart, I belong entirely to the heart of Jesus.